new this morning, a sex crime with a minor, guns, and counterfeit merchandise. Police say they found all of that and more in the city of Lawrence. And this morning, one man is in custody, facing a long list of charges. Mm -hmm. Fox Kellen is Myra Ruiz has more on this case. Plus, how the police chief in charge of the department is in the national spotlight now, Myra. Yes, Lawrence Police Chief Keith Groundsell says this case all started when his department got a tip from a concerned mom whose 14-year-old daughter was having sexually charged conversations on her phone with a grown man. So police went undercover as the teenage girl made, and made arrangements to meet Thomas Durrell Adams near her school yesterday afternoon. And the chief says when Adams actually realized that police were there to meet him, he drove off. Officers ended up deploying stop sticks to take Adams into custody, and Adams ended up crashing his vehicle. When police looked inside the car, the chief says they found three guns, including an assault rifle, $14,000 in cash, and more than $18,000 in counterfeit merchandise. Chief Groundsell says it's hard to say what could have happened had Adams actually picked up the teenager or if the situation had escalated with undercover officers. The biggest difference between real undercover work and what you see in Hollywood is, in Hollywood, you can take two, take three, take four. In real life, you mess up, you might die. And that is one of the messages that Chief Groundsell hopes to reach viewers when, uh, when a pilot debuts on national TV. It is called Undercover Caught on Tape, and Groundsell is a featured officer on this. He shares his experience doing undercover work years ago when he was with the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. This is my undercover toolkit. It's old school, a lot of it, but there are a lot of stories behind all this stuff. Diamond stud earrings, more testing cocaine, I'm pushing drops on turns blue. And Groundsell's involvement with this production started over a year ago when a producer who read his series of books, An Arts Tale, approached him about basing a TV show on them. Groundsell is one of several former undercover officers from across the country who's featured on this A&E production, which airs tomorrow night. In the studio, Maya Ruiz, Fox Carolina News. Myra, we thank you so much. It's 710.